Hello dear students. Today we are going to learn about the CSS cursors. Okay. So cursor is a name that you already know about the uh, similar meaning of the cursor. Right. Because we already using that mouse and we obviously we say that if we have to move the point our mouse pointer from one place to another place then we can say that uh, see like a uh, you have to put a cursor on this or on that like that okay so see after learning the other property in css uh, like a uh, borders border shadows uh, colors text properties okay and the other properties now we have to learn about the cursors so how we can use here cursors for the different purpose are what are the type of the cursor that we are going to learn in this uh, chapter now see if uh, simply i have to give an uh, example of the cursor and the how to show the difference between cursor so see here on the screen now i am moving my this cursor a cursor means the pointer of the your a mouse now see if i am moving this cursor it look like a, a one arrow right if i move this cursor in between this sentence now it's changing its shape right here it look like other and when i am putting here in between the sentence or in between the text it look like a difference like a i okay and then again if i move this my cursor toward the again left side now see my cursor shape is again changing so do you remember that a uh, this type of cursor we already learned in our html in html anchor link property we are using this cursor in the link session right if we are using a anchor tag for providing a link to anything like a image or like a sentence so this link can be a in the form of this cursor when we are moving cursor on that a link word or linkable image then our cursor look like this now see we just read a theory in given in our learn coach platform about the cursor now see if we see about the a problem state a problem a statement means what what we are going to learn about the cursor right see here is giving that sometimes we use some buttons or text where our cursor must be changed like that in this example i am already given that if i am moving there it is other then also here it is another and it is also changing here so see cursor is nothing but the mouse pointer right i am already thought that the cursor is nothing but the mouse pointer now see in our syllabus uh, in this our content there are more than 25 cursors are given okay so and with the name also and with the their uses also a uh, which cursor have to use on which time like that so see it is not possible to use all kinds of cursor in the this a uh, one lecture on the one session but we are going to use a uh, some of the example or some of the cursors from the this list see if i am going to scroll down there are various cursors here okay when you are go through this content 
you can do at your side you just use the every cursor and uh, practice it at your side okay now just see i am going to take a four to five cursors of them and use using in my program so now let's go with the our a code editor okay so now i am opening a uh, my code editor that is a vs code for running this program now see i am already a uh, doing uh, some small program here for knowing the difference between cursor and the work of it okay now see for the some uh, times i am comment this my session and just going to show you the output of the cursors see first of all you just see that if i am moving my cursor on this it looks like another okay then i am moving my cursor again in the next one it look like that and then i am moving again my cursor on the third word then it look like a difference and also the every word is have a it's a different property like the all scroll it's looking a bold then auto is a small because we are using a heading tags for that and we are using a border to give the border to that the every word with the different color okay we already know about the properties but for and now we can do it again okay now see just let's do the same things with me now i am going to erase uh, my all program here now see now this is our a blank page a blank file on that we are going to a uh, create a small program which is a uh, display your cursors a different kinds of cursor like that see like that okay and already we see the examples so see we are going to a small example and the very sim simple example so first of all i am writing a uh, this files a main files okay and our title is the cursor now i am giving a title to my this page is a cursor you can do anything right you already know the things now see we are start with the simple html program okay in the body tag first of all i am going to use a h1 tag for what for adding a some data likewise i am using a h2 tag for adding a another data okay so let's take and uh, let's do with me i am taking one or two a uh, more heading tags and doing the same with all i am using a four tag now see i have to put a data in between this okay suppose now i am writing a simple here a uh, hello then in the second sentence hi in the third sentence how are you and in the fourth sentence fine okay is just for example we are adding this four heading tags here and i am going to save it okay and now if i am a run a my this program now see it looks like a what i have to refresh it first and if i am going to refresh it then see our output is look like this. now i have to 
make some changes or I have to apply some CSS for making it a, a beautiful or more attractive like our first outfit. So now see what we have to do. We have to uh, add the CSS and the CSS means what? For the adding CSS, we already know that we have to a uh, three option like internal CSS, inline CSS, or external CSS. I like to apply here a uh, internal CSS by using a style tag. Okay, now see when we are using a style tag for the internal CSS, then we have to write here inside the head tag. So, my first tag is a style tag. Now, see, I have to write a coding for every this selector here. Now, I am taking first one edge and writing the code for the edge. So, I am adding first of all the border uh, with the 2px. Okay. And then my border type is solid. And with the suppose red color, this is the code for uh, my H1 tag. Then again, similar, I have to make it all for the other tags. So I just make it copy and paste it. Now, see, I have to use a H2 tag here, and I am just changing color from the color palette. I am just giving a green to the second one. Then again I am using this for the H3. And I am again changing my color in the blue one. Okay. Now again H4 is remaining. So I have to repeat the night. You can change color or make it uh, same to all things it's all it's depend on you now see i am doing a changes and how to save file and then i am go with it now see my three headings are in the border a different color border but now see uh, my h1 border is in a this color in which color in this a light a green color why because i am using at the last here also h1 and here also h1 so according to properties it can take a this one okay now if i have to change a color for my this fine so I have to change here. I have to change the selector and it become a now H4. Now see if I am again refresh it. So it is working now. Now see. Now it is a simple border applying. I am here. Now I have to do what? I have to apply a different cursor here. Right. So what I have to do? I am just go to the my nodes and just take it what is the first cursor is allies and then auto so we can use a uh, some cursor from the this list now see i am going to uh, see you or explain you the exact way to adding a cursor okay now see this is the one example of the a uh, cursor a number of cursor are adding here see in the ta style tag in body tag there is a some css is applied right which is internal css okay it is fine but when we have to uh, apply a cursor to any data so how we can do it so you have to use a cursor and then a cursor attribute and then you have to pass that cursor name here so let's we are doing this and here 
there is an inline property style. Now see, we have to do what we are doing. Or we are applying the cursor a without tiv a here. Because we already define the style, internal style. Now for the H1, suppose I am applying a cursor. You have to write a cursor first. Let's see. And the name of cursor is first one, a lies. Okay. Then second, I have to just write this cursor property and have to select. So this second one is. And then see for the third one is a cursor which is a pointer. Okay. And the, for the four one is a cursor. You can choose anything. A cell. See. I am using a four kinds of cursor here. First one is allies. Then all scroll. Third one is a pointer and the fourth one is the cell. Now see, I am saving my data and going to the my this page. Uh, first of all, before the refreshing, now see, my cursor is same for the all data. See, this is pointer, this is pointer, this is pointer and this is also pointer. In our world. Now if I am going to a refresh a my page after saving and after applying the cursor property to each selector now see what is the difference see now cursor is changing see it is different in I it is different in here in the head hello now it is again different a this cursor name is what a pointer जो ये हैंड वाला कर्सर है हम उसको क्या बोलेंगे पॉइंटर कर्सर एंड इट इज अ अ सेल कर्सर दिस इज मोस्टली यूज इन द एक्सेल राइट फॉर द सिलेक्टिंग सो सी सो लाइकवाइज वी आर यूजिंग अ दिस अ कर्सर फॉर द वेरियस पर्पस इन अवर वेब पेज नाउ वी आर डूइंग अ वन थिंग वी आर गिविंग इट्स ओरिजिनल नेम टू इट्स कर्सर सो हाउ वी कैन डू इट नाउ सी You have to just write here a cursor, a, a lies cursor, a H1. Now see. Okay, it is done. Then our second cursor is in H2, a all scroll. So I am writing here all scroll. Our third one is the pointer. So I am writing here. Pointer and again the last one is a cell. Now again I have to save it and now see. Now it look up fine before than the previous one. Okay. You can also apply the various uh, other CSS property to make it more beautiful okay so what we have to apply here we can going to apply a one property but that is a width we are going to set a width of the particular selector now see what I am writing here a width and I am writing here a fit content you already know the properties right now see what is happening your allies border is fit to the text. Now it is looking a good than the others. So now we can apply the same property for the everyone. Means the every selector. Now see. Now it is looking like this. So see. The border is uh, very close to uh, that all the uh, text. 
so what do you have to do you have to use just a padding a padding for the maintaining the space between text and the pod <coughs> <coughs> I am going to apply a padding, a simple padding to the text by four sides. Now see, it is looking a good. So I am applying the same property to the everyone. So you can use a different padding or margin or different style to your data. I am just using a simple. Now see. Now our first output that I am going to show at the starting. And this output is also a same. Right. So you can make it like and use the different different cursor in your page. Okay. So see we are using only four cursors from here. So there are the various cursors are given. So you can use all of it and just to practice it and find the what is the exactly difference between the cursor and how we can use they in our web page. Okay. So in today's class, uh, we are stop here with our cursor. And in our next lecture, we can see about the our next topic. So, bye everyone. Take care.